YouTube and welcome to my tutorial on my very low resource automatic tree farm. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the farm, how it works and how you can build it. Let's get on first with how you're going to use it. So first what you're going to have to do is come around to this side down the bottom here where we have got the tree growing chamber and you're going to need to get yourself some oak tree saplings, there's the only one that work, ones that work, and some bone meal. What you do is you chuck your bone meal in the chest up here, and it's sucked away by the hoppers, and you come up here onto this pressure pad, which then activates a redstone clock, which starts with this dispenser full of, re full of bone meal. Notice that while just doing this it doesn't lose any bone meal, it only loses bone meal when there's a tree in front of it. As you can see, it's not losing any, it's only gaining bone meal. And all you have to do is hold down your right mouse button, wait for a tree to go, grow, and the farm does all the rest. As you can see, sometimes it goes very quickly, sometimes it takes quite a while to grow. This really just depends on how fast your computer is. After all that, all the wood is pushed around here into this big massive block where you can just come along with your axe and go mad. Destroy all your blocks and get it all yourself. Of course this isn't a fully automatic tree farm. You do have to get rid of the blocks yourself but it does make it nice and easy for you to come and get them with your super efficiency diamond axe. As for how this farm works, it's quite complicated. As you can see, when you put the bone meal in this chest, it's brought around by these hoppers into a dropper, which is then fired up into this dispenser, which then goes to the tree. The dispenser and the dropper are powered by this redstone clock here, which at the, right now is disabled. Except when you come around whoops, here and step on this precious plate, it turns on the redstone clock. This is mainly just an easier way of, like most other tree farms, have a lever or something where you just click it to turn off and on the redstone clock. This is a lot easier. All you have to do is come and walk up here where you'd be standing anyway and it turns it on. And once you get to here and you put down your tree, it starts to grow. We have a bud switch under here which using this torch and this line of redstone can detect when there is a block up here in this dirt block and it shoves at a redstone signal. The signal travels up here into a line of pistons we have underneath this block and it pushes the tree along and unpowers the bud switch. As for all this redstone, the this redstone is powered, it comes out here and activates these leaf, leaf crushers on each side. These crush the leaves and drop things like saplings and apples into these two chests down here. A set of pist pistons here and here. Push the logs along and then down here in front of this big wall of pistons here. When the wood comes along all the way to here and a block gets to this space here. Redstone torch powers it, which then powers this system, which powers the entire wall of pistons and pushes all the wood blocks along. You might have noticed that unlike other tree farms, this farm is only five, five blocks tall. That's because the most any normal oak tree grows is five blocks tall. Lots of people think it should be seven blocks tall, when really it. the fact is that an oak tree only needs seven blocks above the sapling to be able to grow, which we have here. Any more than that, and it'll turn into a massive big oak tree which can wreck your tree farm. But there's no point wasting another extra two blocks full of pistons and redstone when you're not really going to use it at all. All we need is just one glowstone here to provide seven blocks of height so the sapling can grow, but it's at the eighth, eighth block so it stops the massive big trees growing and wrecking the system.
That's really basically how it works. I suppose we'll get on to the tutorial now. So before you actually start to build your tree farm, you're going to want to find a place in your world where it's going to fit. This full design has a width of 12, a length of 22 and a height of 11. It's quite big. You also want to consider that the front of it is over here. So you're going to build, if you're going to have a path in your world, you want to lead up to the front, not around to the other side. You won't be able to get into this tree growing chamber. You're also going to want to have a little entry up to the place where you chop down all the wood. So it's easily accessible from the rest of your base. Okay guys, so to get started in the tutorial, first you're going to need a dirt block, just here. Next to that, a brick slab, and on the other side, you're going to want a dropper facing up with the dispenser on top of it. This is of course where the tree is going to grow. It's not going to work. Here, you want a chest, and over here as well, this is where all the saplings and the apples end up. And you're not hoppers feeding into those chests like this. Down here, we want our block with a pressure plate of some sort on top of it, and you might want a slab just leading up there. Next to the dispenser, you're going to want a glowstone block, just like the area, so no mob spawn. On top of this slab, put a piece of redstone, put over our block, and I've already done something wrong. This chest is supposed to be one block out, sorry about that. And on this block just here, you want a redstone torch. Leading into this chopper here, you want a line of hoppers with a chest up here. Now you want to come behind the dropper just here and plonk down, plonk down a repeater. There are two blocks behind it. One next to the dropper. Two there. One down the ground here and another one just here. Under all these blocks you'll place three torches and redstone here and these two places. And you should see that it makes a clock, which is highly annoying. So what we're going to do is bring the redstone line down here, a couple of places, two blocks of the ground, one torch, should turn it off, and then just bring redstone along like this. So now you should find, when you stand this pressure plate, that the clock starts going, and when you chuck stuff into the dispenser, it just fires and right out back here very quickly. What do we want to do next while we're just messing around underneath the growing platform? Two bits of redstone dust there. A piston directly beneath the dirt block. Might be a bit hard to get to all this stuff in the way. And in front of that a redstone block. And a bit of put a redstone bit rest in there just for a minute. I'll replace this hopper. And you should find if you put a block down here. Sorry. <laughs> if you stay on the pressure plate and put a block down here, then that bit of then that bit of redstone gets powered. And if you break it, the clock's still going. Then it's not powered. Very okay good. guys, once you've got something looking a bit like this, what you want to do is come down here and put a column of pistons 
that is five tall, all facing towards this central bit, up like this. Then behind this one, just one block behind, do another one. This one's five tall as well, but with this one, you don't need that one just there, because it's not going to be pushing anything. So we'll put that up like this, and you want to do over here. We'll do the same sort of sort of thing. Two wide, five tall, and just here. Same again. Two wide and five tall. Now what you got to do is fill in any gaps with any other blocks you want. So you might just fill in gaps like this, this one there, this gap here. You don't want anything falling into that hopper there because it goes into the dropper. This gap over here. <coughs> so maybe it's those ones the main ones you want to main gaps you want to fill in. And you want to get oak wood, make sure it's oak wood. Can't be any other block. And then just put this in front of all these pistons. Doesn't have to be facing this way, but it really just distinguishes it from the trees that you're going to grow and push along. So yeah, you're going to want to do all this. Oh, sorry guys, I made a mistake here. Of course, this is supposed to be all be back by one block. That's annoying. So you just want to push this entire wall back. Sorry guys. Okay guys, next up, you just want to come down to the corner here and fill this all with oak wood as well. Just however you want. And that is pretty much the main building block part of the crusher done. Next we'll get on with the redstone. Just really just fill in any little blocks around here. Because they'll just fill with leaves if you don't fill them up. I mean, which is okay, it's fine, but it's a good thing to cover this line of hoppers here so don't nothing gets in it. Because you only want bone meal on those hoppers. Of course, these ones in here are fine. You want all the saplings and everything to go forward into here. Okay, now we're getting to first wiring the crusher bit up. Actually, before we do that, what you want to do, come to the top here and put a roof on it. Make sure you stop any of those big trees from getting in there. Just want to make a 4x4 four four ring. And then just fill it in with any block. Glass is probably best. So it doesn't have to be, of course. Make sure there's a hole in the middle. You just want to go up two blocks and then one there. Of course, you can put blocks around here if you want. Well, it's just so the tree can still grow. I must say, guys, please excuse me for any mistakes I'm doing. This is the first real tutorial I've done. But just to make things easier on yourself and to save on some resources, you don't need that piston there. You just chuck a block down there and there. And put a class block there, that's just helps with everything. Next up, really. guys, you want to grab yourself a repeater and come down here and chuck it right there, one block away from your redstone block. And here, you want to put your full block and a bit of resistance on top of that. And next to this, you want to chuck a half, half slab. And come over to where your pistons are, put two blocks like that, up one piston, sorry, there, on the bottom row of pistons, put two blocks like that, there again, out the top, place four blocks, just like this, grab your slabs again, come in here, and on Make sure you put on the top half of every second piston. There's two of them like this. Not 
that one. That's you want to get your redstone again and just cover all of these new blocks you placed with redstone, just these ones up here. And you're all good. So if you get yourself, say, a log or any other full block really, come over here. So your dispenser is ticking and you should place it down and it'll actually activate, push the block out like it just did there and then go back again. So that's working perfectly. Also, I don't know how I managed to miss this, but you're going to want to put slabs, just these two slabs, just here. With redstone dust on and stuff, you want to grab some normal pistons and put them just here. So, five of those. Let's get one down the bottom. And you want to grab some slabs and from this block here, take it out. Three and along here then you want solid blocks just like this remember on top of these two as well you have to put that there or the top pistons won't activate small slabs just whoops like this so on top of that piston top off that block and like that you get a repeater stick that there Get some slabs here as well. Like this. Actually, you'll want full blocks here and Peters on two ticks with redstone everywhere. like this and up here so actually guys you don't need that block there and these actually have to be on three ticks there we go just all work now if I test that again I'm just got to go here ticking block down pushes out block down pushes out and you should see now that this block has been pushed with these pistons out here. Great. Now around here, you want to do the same thing. Pull these out and then go down here. Solid blocks. Solid. And here, same thing with slabs. S there, and there. And there, and redstone all along here. One of the reasons why this design is low resource, so you might be thinking of using tons of pistons and tons of repeaters, tons of redstone. Actually, using a lot less redstone than a normal design would. Normal designs use tons of repeaters, so this one uses like slab towers to get it up. So I'll put that one down. Uh, I'll quickly check how many ticks I need to be on. But after you put that there, you want to get pistons again, normal ones, and go up there. So five. Don't forget the one down the bottom. So guys, for these for these repeaters here that go into this side of the crusher. We need just actually two of them, and on them both two four ticks. And you're going to want this, and you don't put redstone there actually, put it there, because all this just needs to power this line too, and make sure just to link it up on a slab there. So, now for guess, another test, so I come in here, hold down this, oops. You don't want to hold down your button actually, just keep clicking them every time they get moved or you'll lock it all up. As you can see there's a lot of pistons firing all the time so I don't want a very laggy computer. So this should have worked as you can see. They've come out here, pushed along this one then pushed along here. 
job. Next, we're going to need a lot of blocks used to make into your floor for where you're going to come and cut up all of these logs. So, here's some big floor. 12 across from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you don't want that brick there. And you also want 12 out as well. So, do that and fill that all in with whatever block you want. Now that you've built this big platform here, if you're playing survival, then you got to want to go, you know, put some glowstone in every few blocks. You know, you just light the whole thing up. You don't want any mobs spawning in here and blowing up everything. Make sure to keep, really just keep the whole design lighted up with these glowstone everywhere, because you don't want creepers here or they're going to explode all your precious redstone and everything. And they could break the machine. Plus next what you're going to have to do is, not on this block, but there. You're going to want to make a massive big wall of just normal pistons. 12 along and 5 high, which is going to push all of the wood out. Succeeder has done over here. If you don't want to make this many pistons, then you don't have to. You're going to need a lot of iron and a lot of redstone to make it. But you can just make it shorter if you want, as long as you move this little module thing on the end along. Like if you take out one, make sure this one's. If you take out one line of pistons and make sure this is one block this way. I'll show you how to make that in a second. But yeah, right now all you have to do is fill that piston wall in. 5 high, 12 long. Okay guys, we're almost done now. All you have to do now is get your normal building brick and so with one brick on the top you'll have every second piston with just a line of bricks, blocks going all the way along. So one at the top, one just here in the middle and one right down at the bottom. And make sure you have one block sticking out of the out of out at the end there. And you just want to do is cover this all of this just in redstone, except for that block there. So just run it all the way down here. And then what you do here is we're gonna make like a redstone torch tower. Just need kind of like a checkerboard pattern. Yeah, torch, torch, torch. Doesn't really matter if these fire off. Not going to do anything. Torch, torch. So once you made your torch tower just here, what you want is a block there and two blocks there. Torch, redstone, repeater, and. You're done. All finished. Just want to give it a test. If you put one block there, then this entire wall of pistons should come out. One thing you should note is that if you are going to build this in like your forge world, we're using mods, and you have tree capacitor capacitator on it, that won't work. Even though it's a big block and they're all standing up, you know, like normal trees do. Um, because they've all been moved around by the pistons, then the mod won't recognise that as a tree. So you're still going to have to go through it all by yourself. It's like wooden vanilla. Uh, I want to add some stairs leading up here. Just to make it a bit easier. Because if it's the front, you're going to want to come in this way. I suppose we'll give the entire thing a test. So you get rid of all this. We'll grab some bone meal. Whack that all down there. The sapling. You just want to chuck all your bone meal in here. Grab your sapling. 
step on here and just all you have to do is hold down this part, hold down right click and as you can see it's all working of course I think my computer's lagging out a little bit now from all the pistons so yeah sometimes it just takes a little while to grow but other than that it's all good. A couple of final things before the end. First of all, sorry for my cold. I know I kept sniffing and making funny noises. Sorry about that. But with the tree farm, what you can do is fill in all this space with just blocks. Um, these leaves here won't wreck anything and they usually just stay here. As you can see, sometimes they pop the top here, but those just despawn, go away pretty easily. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Please like, subscribe, share with everybody. This is my first tutorial I've done, voice tutorial. So I do hope you've enjoyed it. They're only getting better for me. I was trying to stop making noises. I don't know, don't know why I do that. Anyway. See ya.